Hi, welcome to this tutorial series on Spring IOC. This video is about bean life cycle. So that is actually a very important concept of Spring IOC. I already covered all concept of the Spring IOC. I only left with one and two concepts. So if you have not seen my previous video, so you can subscribe my channel. I already have different uh, videos for different technologies um, of like Spring Boot, Hibernate, Start. So you can check all those videos from my channel. And also you can get a new update when I upload new video. So please hit on the subscribe button that is the in the bottom of this video. So I have this project that I am using for the demo purpose. So I already created a class. So this is a simple class that I have created. This is a project class and I already created a test class where I am using abstract application context which is a which is a factory by using that we can get the bean from the XML file. So I have a XML file in my class path so the, which is spring.xml file. So it's very simple file here I have only declared one bean with id and id and class. So there is only one, one bean in this file and I have a test class to test it. So if we talk talk about the bean life cycle so they are generally five step of the bean life cycle. So the the first step is let's go to the uh, some theory then we can we can do it with practically here. So so the first step is uh, we have a spring container that is our actually a spring container which load the XML file which is declared in the class file. In this case we have a spring.xml file. So spring container container will load this XML file and then it will create the objects with the singleton scope. So whatever object is declared inside the XML file all those objects will be created with the singleton scope. So if we have a one more bean inside this bean so that bean will be created with the singleton scope. So that is the first step. So after that if any of the bean so any of the bean means we have this project bean. So if this bean have implementing implemented a interface name bean name aware interface which is actually used to get some custom name to particular bean. So if any of the class or we can say a bean have implemented this bean name aware interface so that particular abstract method of this interface will be called. So that is the second step. So third step will be if the particular bean have implemented application context aware interface then the abstract methods of application context aware interface will be called. So there is one set application context methods of, of this application context aware interface have which we have to actually implement which is abstract method. So that particular method will be called. So so that is the third step. The fourth step is if we have there is one more interface initializing bean which is used to while initializing the particular bean if we want to execute some some of the operation so that we also call the pre construct. So if we want to perform some operations after a bean is getting initialized so we can use this initializing bean interface. So I'm using XML based approach. So here we have to implement initializing bean. For annotation based approach, we have annotation pre-construct for this uh, initializing bean. So, so that is the fourth step. The fifth step is destroy. So we have a disposal disposable bean interface that that is that will be called while is our bean is getting destroyed. So our bean is generally get destroyed when our application context will be destroyed or our application will be stopped. So in that case our bean should be destroyed. So at that time if we want to perform some of the operation some cleaning operation to particular bean so we can uh, we can call that particular method. So let's implement all these interface and then we can 
we can test it using this test class so let's firstly implement bean name aware interface so we have a bean name aware interface okay so let's implement it so this interface must have a methods which is abstract method so this is the method set bean name so let's print some statement here so we can we can print set bean name method called so the second interface will be application context aware interface so it is from org swim framework context package so this interface must have a method abstract method which is a set application context so let's print some statement here for testing purpose and and we have initializing bean interface let's import the package and we need to override a method which is after property set so let's add some print statements here so let's change the method name and then the last interface is disposable disposable bin and we have to implement the abstract method of this interface which is destroy and we can print some statements here so let's print out the name of this method so i have implemented all four life cycles interfaces of a particular bean so using xml based approach we have to implement these methods to achieve the bean life cycle so these interface are not mandatory actually these are just use use when when we when the spring container generally create the object it it will see all those interfaces if any of the bean have implemented those interfaces so those are not in mandatory but if if we want to set the name of particular bean so we we have to use bean name aware interface so we can set the some custom name for the bean so same way application context aware is generally used when we want the application context inside our bean so if we see here i am using this abstract application context into my test class but if i want to use this application con context inside this project bean itself so i have to implement this application context aware interface so for that purpose uh, we have to override set application context methods so initializing bean is generally used for uh, when we want to call particular methods uh, before the after the object of that class is created so let's test it out i already have the test class so we can run it directly so we are so as per the output first set bean name method is getting called then our application set application context method is called then after property set is called so if we see our project class so our destroy method is not in, not getting called because i have to register the shutdown hook so we have to register shutdown hook shutdown hook is we have to register to uh, to test the destroy method because if after registering shutdown hook this particular application context will be destroyed so at that time our 
destroy method should be uh, should be called so let's test it out so destroy method is getting called so these are the four interfaces that we need to implement to for the bin life cycle so that's all for this video and i hope you got some understanding about the bin life cycle so thanks for watching thanks for your time bye bye